Hello everybody, it's Philip from ASDI 1406, and this is our week three project for CRUD, which is create, read, update, and delete inside of databases. I decided to make a quick Z-Clock application which tracks your time for whatever you're doing. And so, out of the box, it doesn't have a user, so we'll go ahead and click register now, and we'll enter the user information, so our first name, our last name, what username we want. As we type the username, it validates. Anything under four characters will not work. And if the username is not in use, it'll stay green. If it is in use, it will turn red. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three for username and, uh, sorry, for a password and a payroll ID, and then test.test.com as an email. We'll click add user. And now we're logged, uh, we're logged into the application and from here we can go ahead and track our time. And before we track our time, we can go ahead and check out the My Account page. The My Account page allows you to edit the information all but the username because uh, usernames should stay the same if you create them. So let's go ahead and click cancel and go back. We'll click clock in and now we're clocked in. Once we're clocked in, we can do a myriad of things. We can close the application, open it again. We can go to the My Account page, whatever we wish to do. So let's go to My Account, and we'll show what, how updating works. We'll go ahead and change something here. We'll save the settings. As we can see, it updates. And we'll go ahead and close that again, and save and it updates quite nicely. And so what can we do from here? We can also sign out, and as we log in again, it sets our name and we can enter our code and it knows that we're actually logged in so we can stay there. And so once we're done with the task, all we can do is clock out and then we're out. And so the really cool thing about this was I was able to use a nice flat design to give me everything that I wanted to see and I was able to do it pretty quickly with a cool little font there showing a clock output. So I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, let me know. One of the harder things for me on this was the uh, parameters inside of some of the SQL queries. I had to create a few different read conditions, for example. I couldn't just use a plain ordinary read function. It had to know if I was going to request multiple objects back, multiple columns back, a single column back, or whatever. And I did that so that I wouldn't have to clutter up my code. And so that was a little frustrating to get going right, but once I got it there, I can send whatever I want to read and get the results back, whether it's a single row or multiple rows. I hope you guys like this, and if you do, let me know. If you don't and you'd like to see something changed, let me know that as well. You guys have a great, great day.